morning to you, my brother. Good morning to you, my sister. We greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord. Have you suffered any detours in life lately? You had planned to go in this direction and it seemed like uh, something came in and altered that going in that direction and you found yourself somewhere you had not anticipated even in being. Well, today in our devotional, we're looking at um, the possibility uh, of being in need of healing and that health uh, burden that you carry uh, is really a, a blessing that the Lord has directed you into in the direction of our healer. Uh, thank you for sharing this morning and thank you for this uh, moment in, in, in a Matthew Mark, Luke, John reference that highlights uh, the ministry of prayer that our Lord uh, has given unto us. Especially in Mark's gospel when he rose up uh, early before day broke, found a solitary place and, and there he prayed. What did the Son of God um, pray for. Today our prayers lead God and direct us into first what uh, allow Jesus to manifest uh, a greater quality of life and living. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom. Thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever. Detours, <laughs> but uh, who, who you are provides uh, healing for us from the crowns of our heads to the sole of our feet, Matthew 8. Verses 16 and 17 declares, And when evening had come, uh, so it may be morning now, 6, 10 a.m., but what about by the time we get to 6, 10 p.m.? How will you be looking? When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were ill, in order that what was spoken through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, saying, He himself, took our infirmities and carried away our diseases, took our infirmities and carried away our diseases. He himself took our infirmities carried away our diseases. Jesus is our healer, y'all. He, he has compassion 
that restores took our infirmities and there provided the restoration of body, of mind, of spirit, and brought a new level of wholeness into our lives, carried away our diseases. My hurts no longer get the best of me because now I have the best at work in me. Infirmities couldn't remain nor could diseases remain because he took, he deprogrammed them and left a dormant, a dormant, dormant, dormancy that had to be replaced with health and healing. Sickness is a detour in the pathways of our lives. Sickness takes us in a different direction we had not intended to go. Our schedules changed, our agendas were rearranged, all in the name of sickness. Cancer, heart attacks, unsafe blood pressures, even that which resulted in a stroke they are just some of the contending elements that all of our families must be confronted with. Calamitous living. And the good news of the text here is we are not alone with sickness. There is one who cannot get sick. Yeah, the Although we do come to that point where things such as heart attacks and cancer and unsafe blood pressures and strokes may be present, but since they cannot remain, what takes, who takes their places? When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. Where did the demons go after they could not possess us any longer? He cast out the spirits with a word. What word is it that you need to hear right now that brings a level of uh, completeness. Uh, demon no longer talks for you, acts for you, processes this time of life and living upon their processing chamber. There's been a casting out of what used to control you and now there is a new controller. The good news of the text is we are not alone now with sickness. There is one who cannot get sick, who now accompanies us on our journey for life and living. He came where sickness was and personally took our infirmities. What bothers us can't bother him. What kills so many of us could not kill him. And 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 the and the, and the honor of this word this morning is that Jesus submitted himself to die for us. He submitted himself so that. That prohibition could be removed. He submitted himself to die so that that, that, that that change agent could no longer be above him, but now he controlled it and it now worked 
for him. As healer, he takes away the stuff that provides an illness. Ill, ill, illness. Illness. It even sounds ugly. Even it even sounds it 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 sends a tinge of this ain't you in in this whole constitution and fabric of this uh, physicality that that now is us. What could kill him could not kill him, and finally healed. I the healing. The he H E A L E R. What could have made him sick? How many days in Scripture did you see where Jesus could not rise up and properly minister to where he had arrived to change the setting? Because he as healer showed up. But before he did, suffering dominated the setting. But when the healer showed up, what makes folks sick, wellness showed up. Oh, the world is hungry for the living bread. Somebody must lift the Savior up for them to see. Then we will be able to change the language of our settings. Then I, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So in the midst of struggles in our communities, struggles, between the races, struggles politically, struggles uh, with persons finding it hard to accept one because of their color, their place of origin, their nationality, their station in life. Folk find it difficult. Why? Because they are suffering from what makes them sick. And now they in a presupposition would uh, declare that others make me sick. And, and now if we get rid of them, uh, there will be no more sickness. For who? For who, who, for who, who, for who, who is sick? You, you need, you, 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 <laughs> You need an all-encompassing healer. And if you just try to be healed while somebody else is not, while somebody else is suffering, that's not healing. That's, that's a choice you've made. But the choice has already been made. The one who can't get sick because I don't look like him the one who won't get sick because I do, I am, I'm just in another color, I'm just in another belief system, I'm just in the other, I'm in the divine and not in the human. And thus our answers are in the divinity of the one who became human in order to bring all of us to a new level of wholeness for complete and perfect and enabling healing. What you have from the origin of who you are is in me. It came from me and I cannot deny your origin because you are part of it that exists in me. And when that um, delivering point or that point of deliverance that 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 that, that, that concentric area where you and I are governed by the same kind of healing it becomes a new definition for life 
and for living. We all come to another level of life and living, an appreciation that comes because of the divinity of this healer. He himself took our infirmities, carried away our dis-ease, dis-ease that we just said it's, it's, the, it's the disease of difference. And he came into what makes us different with the solution. That's, that's what healer is. That, that's, that's who healer is. That's why he has to come. And in the man who accepts him comes into the reckoning of divinity that he shares with us all. He himself took our infirmities and carried away, <laughs> dismissed our dis-ease and brought us a new comfort zone. You better come on in there. You better come because things are not going to be right unless the right one can make it right. Oh, the world is hungry for the living bread. Lift the Savior up for them to see. And then he declared, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. The world is hungry. And don't know what the satisfaction or the satisfier of that hunger is. Come on, come on heal people. And let's, let's cherish the power of life through him. One of you will betray me. That was the statement of unity. One of you will betray me. And while he had one man on his mind, all of the others knew of the reckoning of betrayal that, was, that, 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 that existed in them. But then he said, I have your antidote. Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. <laughs> You, you, you with your disease. You, 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 you with your separatism. You, 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 you with it, with your own identity flaw. Take, eat. There is one that brings healing to us both, and a new understanding that the community he is developing doesn't just say some come. No, not you, but, and then he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no woman, no boy, no girl can come unto the Father except you come by me. <laughs> Take, eat. This is my body which was broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Communion brings oneness and makes it a reality. Not fake, not impartial, but all of us coming into one. Ah, one what? Oh, you may not be able to see the pathway that, that this blood that I've just drank or this which was that second piece of the wholeness formula that our Lord provided in dealing with the whole area of betrayal. I don't want to betray the healer. <laughs> we, we cannot betray the healer if we wish to live a whole and complete life. 
healer, healer. This and everywhere we have veins, and I believe he made us with them. I believe everywhere we have arteries, and I believe he made us with them. That flow of blood is moving in every area of our lives. There is an integration that is afforded each one of us from the root of, of such divinity is the divine one. Oh, the world is hungry for the living bread. Lift the Savior up for men to see because he said, then if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Unto me. Unto me. Unto me. He himself took our infirmities and carried away that which keeps us separate. Carried away all of our diseases. Diseases. You have a disease. I have a disease. But he wants to carry them away. He takes them. He's the only point person who can, and the point person who will. So someone has to lift him up in order that that unity that he desires and he knows is what brings us to a new common unity. He knows where it exists. So as healer, as healer, who wants to be around some sick, person all the time, sick and don't know it, talking sick, working through a sickness that pollutes common unity and infects it with a nonsensical disease that can be remedied if we all came to the truth of the one who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no woman, no boy, no girl, no family can come to the Father except they come by me. You have an appointment with the doctor? If you don't keep it, they'll, they'll charge you. <laughs> charge you for missing your appointment. You have an appointment right now, and you can't sidestep it with some other kind of priority you try to profit from in order to get a satisfaction merit or a merit pin, a merit identity. You, you can't be who you hope to be if your being is nonsensical if it doesn't include me and if I can't include you. Save us, O oh Lord, from this uh, selectivity that encourages some and neglect others from being part of it. We pray that this community now that you are developing, it will be one that brings a new soundness and wholeness to all of us. Hear our prayer. Incline thine ear unto us and grant us thy peace. In the only name that matters, Jesus our Christ and our Lord, we pray. This 16th day of divinity brings forth the answer for us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a great day and a greater one because there's a oneness in root pulling us all together. God bless. Bishop Noel Jones and his great choir has provided our undergirding music today. Copyright won't let me turn it up to 
too loud, but it will nourish us and make us whole. See you in the morning. Have a great day. God bless.